Hi guys, today is very exciting day for me. I'm gonna be reviewing new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, Soft Glam. I was so excited and I was waiting for it to appear in Sephora so I can grab it. The moment I saw it appearing in Sephora, I got it. So that's how it looks outside. It's like a goldish beige uh, color. I never opened it, I never swatched it, so it's very exciting for me. It's uh, the same velvety touch as like Modern Renaissance and Culture and Prism. I own both uh, Modern Renaissance and Prism. I never bought Subculture because I saw the reviews and I just didn't feel like I want to get it. But this one, uh, when I saw online the colors, I thought I actually really, really need it. So I grabbed it. So here it is. Let's open it together. Oh! <laughs> Thing fell out. So it's more in the, in the brownish, orange, pinkish shade, I would say, the color scheme. It's absolutely stunning. I, I love this palette for this color in here. I think I grabbed this palette just for that color. I didn't care for the rest. And I really want to try this on today on my eyes. It comes with the, you know, the regular... The regular brush, which I find a bit rough. I don't know if I, I don't think I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use my own brushes, but yeah, let's uh, let's take the film of the mirror. Oh, I'm gonna zoom in closer, and we're gonna start applying. I just hope it's not gonna be as a disaster as the subculture one. So we're close enough right now. Um, I already primed my eyelids and I need to set it and I'm gonna use temper all over my eyelids. Right out of the bath I see that this shade is very smooth and applies uh, beautifully. It's a perfect shade to use as um, set in your uh, primer or concealer if you like to use concealer as a primer. I will use dust to rose in my crease. When I put my brush in, it uh, shows as powdery, but I don't mind it as long as it's blendable and it's not as extreme as uh, it's not as extreme as uh, subculture. So let's try. Right off the bat, I can see that it is pigmented. It gives me a nice color payoff. It is quite powdery, but it blends absolutely beautifully. So I'm just going to blend the crease in a circular motions, back and forth, back and forth, to create this perfect um, transition shade for the other shadows that I'm going to be building. The next color I want to grab is Sienna, this color, and I want to focus uh, more on the outer corner and create this um, depth. So far I see no issues blending. It's very pigmented. I have no fallouts whatsoever underneath of my eyes. Uh, they blend really, really good. It's just the only thing is that there is a lot of uh, powder when you put your brush in the in the color. I'm having a bit of a hard time blending with my uh, lashes because I had uh, for the first time in my life I did the eyelash extensions. And I love how it looks, it's just, it's so uncomfortable to put any eyeshadows and for me it's a big problem because I like playing with eyeshadows and uh, I don't think I'll be doing the eyelash extensions again, I'd rather just glue them on when I need them. I'm gonna go for the darker shade Mulberry in the outer outer corner completely I'm not gonna even bring any uh, color in the crease I'm just gonna apply it right there and see how it uh, works 
This color is not as uh, powder as the other two. Let's hope it is as blendable as the other ones. The next color I want to go is uh, rose rose pink and I want to apply it all over my lid and see how it works. It is pigmented. I see some fallout right there. Um, probably would be better off applying it with my finger or wet. Let me try them uh, wet. It definitely gets way more pigmented when you apply it wet. That shimmer shade, rose pink, gave me that shade. Gave me quite a few of fallout underneath of my eyes. Um, so I guess uh, next time I'll just apply it the eyeshadow before I do my foundation and everything else. I want to try sultry just in the middle of the eyelid and see how that one this one looks like more uh, pressed uh, pressed glitter hmm I wonder if it give me uh, better color payoff if I do it wet. So when you do it wet, it definitely gives you a better color payoff, but I find it it's a bit inconsistent. Definitely give you like a foiled look, but very very much inconsistent. I'm gonna do the same color scheme underneath of my eyes, so I'm gonna grab uh, Dusty Rose and smudge it all over underneath then I'm gonna grab sienna same thing and finally I'm gonna do mulberry uh, more like on the outer side Finally, I want to try the shimmer shade glistening. This one, I want to apply it in the inner corners and the brow bone. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup, apply mascara and I'll be right back to give you the final thoughts. So my final thoughts is that surprisingly I prefer matte colors more than I prefer shimmer glitter ones. Uh, I find that shimmer ones uh, give you quite a few fallout. So if you want to use this palette, probably apply um, your eyes before you do the rest of your face. And uh, I find that they're not as pigmented as uh, I would expect them to be. Uh, for the matte colors, they're absolutely gorgeous, they blend like a dream, they are powdery, don't get me wrong, but there is no fallout from matte colors, I didn't see anything on my face. Um, in terms of uh, pigmentation, they're absolutely beautiful and they're pigmented and gorgeous. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day and I'll update you guys in the description box below to see how uh, well it wore, if, it, if there was any creasing, if there was any fading. But yeah, I really enjoyed this palette. I thought I would enjoy it more than I did, but I want to try other colors and see if I like it more. Just maybe these colors are not my cup of tea, but yeah, this is the video. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Mwah.